I want to find something that works. <laughs> well, if you're into the mermaid look, what do you want me to say? That you'll meet my client at three. Um, you will clean my house, do my Christmas shopping for me, and go to this stupid party for me tonight. Anything else? Oh, you know, Jack and I, we don't even get to spend any time together as it is. The last thing I want is to spend it with the people he's always with. Are you hungry? We just had lunch. Mm, I'm starving. How about this one? Huh? Look at this, Meg. I look like a poinsettia. Well, it is a Christmas party. <laughs> it's a joke. I don't know. Mmm. The gold one. Oh, please don't tell me I look fat. It's all over the dress. Oh, just crumbs. That does make me look fat. Why are you acting so pregnant? Meg? <gasps> you cannot <gasps> say the word. Oh, this is going to be the best Christmas ever. <gasps> Mom and Dad are going to be so excited. How far along are you? Far enough along for crackers. How did Jack take the news? Meg? You haven't told on me. Don't say it. What's up, sentiment? Whenever I look at you, Santa, I think of you. But at the same time, I have a little change to pay my rent. Now, money isn't everything. There's just well, you made it after all. Did we really have a choice? Oh, you're going to love it. The food is fantastic at lunch. <laughs> so, do you have any plans for Jack's 40th? That's right, your birthday's coming up. <laughs> it's the big 4-0. Thanks for reminding me. No, thanks. Hey, well, you know what they say. 40 is the new 30. <laughs> yeah, right. They also say that ostrich meat is the new beef. It's not so bad with bacon and cheese. <laughs> Birthday on Christmas Eve. Bummer. Oh, leave him alone. He still has a few good days. <laughs> and on that note. <laughs> the new year would be so bright and sunny. Just bring me that little something that I've been speaking to you about. Yep, you got it. I want a five pound box of money. Thank you. It would be so. How long are we staying? And help me to meet both Will you drive? That's not even funny, Jack. Now you can keep the branches, you can keep the trunk and the root. Cause all I really want is a little bit of fruit. So if you wanna be sure that I'll be yours, you little More candy. Old honey, honey, bunny, yeah. You just try me. There's the slave driver himself. <laughs> Give it a rest, Meg. That's enough. No, 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 make it a ten pound. You know what? If I'm gonna beg, I'm gonna beg real, real, real big, cause you know folks move, they change their address, and I may not even see you next year. Just give me the money, Santa Claus. Come on now. Give me the money. It's been a while since you've hit on the story. I think this Charlotte Hampton thing could be it. All right. Just let one of the young guys do it. You need it, Jack. Uh -oh. Looks like it's time to go. Thank you for a wonderful party, Mr. Hunt. I have to commend you, Meg. 
anyone that allows her husband to work as much as you do. Deserves an exceedingly large bonus, <laughs> don't you think? <laughs> I know it's a Christmas assignment, Jack, but I have to know first thing Monday morning. I wouldn't have to leave until Christmas Eve. Oh, that's great, Jack. It's your birthday. You really think I want this story? Yes, I do. I covered bigger stories right out of college. Been striking out for months. You heard, Hunt. I need this one. What about what I need? What we need? I will take time off after Christmas. Do you know that even when you're here, what? I feel alone. Then come with me to Dallas. We've already made plans with the family. They are coming tomorrow. Your family. Our family. It has never been any other way. I didn't mean that. What would you like me to tell them? Be creative, Meg. You always think of something. I don't want to be creative anymore. stuck, Jack. What do you want to do? I don't know. Maybe we just need some space. Dallas. 